Okay, so I figured I'd do a fairly quick tutorial on how to make yo-yo quilt pieces. Uh, this is the Clover, the 45 millimeter yo-yo quilt template. Um, they come in different sizes. I've got little ones, I've got one that's bigger than this, but this is the size I prefer. It makes the yo-yos about this big. So I start and I cut my fabric. This is about a four inch circle. I have this template that's about five inches, but I, I cut it down to, to make it a little smaller to fit the, the yo-yo maker easier. You'll see there are little lines. They need to line up with these little notches once you put the fabric in. And you find it, and it just pops into place. Whoops, that's a little bit crooked. Try and make sure that the fabric is fairly even all the way around. Okay, and then it just pops into place. You'll see you have the little edge of the fabric. And I take my needle and my thread, and I have a little knot at the end. And I start, you poke it in the, the little holes. See? And just continue all the way around. It takes just a couple minutes. I try and keep the fabric flattened so that it's evenly stitched. And I'm just going to continue to do that here. Like I said, it just it takes a couple minutes. It's actually quite relaxing if you're just sitting there watching TV and need something to to craft, like I do most of the time. Oops, lost my needle here. Okay, and then continue. I have done this often enough that I kind of know where the needle's gonna go without having to really look at the back. But if you're just starting, you're probably gonna need to just Look back and forth until you've done it enough to to actually know where it goes. Most of the time. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, I'm coming right back around to my starting point. And when I get to that initial knot, the very first stitch that I did, I go right into that same spot and then back up through the next one. And that makes the complete circle. And then you just pop it apart, and hanging onto your, your thread so that it doesn't come undone. You just take it off like this, and I try and make it cinched as evenly as possible. Cinch it right towards the middle, so that gives you the, the floral almost yo-yo look. And then what I do is I go in and I take one of the little sections. I don't know if you can really see it, but this is where I make my first knot. 
and I keep the thread open and I go under once and twice and then I go back and cinch again and then hold it with my other hand while pulling the knot tight and that makes it stay for the most part and then I actually go in and do a second knot across across the center hole do the same thing once and twice and pull the knot tight and then I point straight through the circle and pull it and that just kind of evens it out in the center you can put a knot in the end on the other side if you prefer I don't prefer that look because I like to be able to use the yo-yo blankets either way either this way or this way so there's the yo-yo piece I'm going to re-knot my thread okay and then move this away move this away and I've got all these little pieces already made and what I usually do is I set them out so that I know exactly where I want them to be and then you just stitch maybe three or four stitches here, 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 etc. until you have the size of blanket that you want. I'll put them cinched side together and I start like this and then go around and then I do the same one and two through the thread to make the knot and I just snip it off and they fix together like this so hopefully that is helpful to people and hopefully you can make some really pretty little, it doesn't take very many, uh, it doesn't take much fabric at all to make the yo-yo pieces. Like I said, it's about a four inch square. Um, if you have the smaller ones, you can use even less fabric, but they make really great layering pieces for photographs and I am totally addicted to yo-yo quilt pieces. So anyway, hopefully that helps people learn how to make them and hopefully it wasn't too boring. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.